Alright, this is my uh, kind of a earlier version of the Sentin. Right now I'm using a Surpass Hobby 3600 kV motor. It's a 3660. Uh, it's a small one. Um, and this is a Race Star digital servo. I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, it's a little cheapy Banggood thing, as is that motor. Um, I got both those from Banggood. They work fine for this car. It's a light car. The wheels are small. Um, it's not waterproof, but I don't take my cars in the water. So, uh, <coughs> just want to give you a little... got to put it on... Uh... Oh, here we are. Okay. I should do it. You know, it's not the quickest thing, but does the trick. Oh, and real quick, this dynamite fan, which uh, has, uh, it's actually for <laughs> a much larger can, like for the fifth scale or the eighth scale cars, but I've got a zip tied on this. And the thing has stayed running for a long, long time. I've had it on a couple of different cars now, but. It works great, and it puts up with a lot. Just same same as these ESC fans. Those those are so great, but they're housed really well. That's the thing. If you could house, see that's this thing is perfectly housed. It's you know completely encased in something, which kind of doesn't really help with heat dissipation. But anyways, all right, here we are. Call this car the Whistler. This, you know, the, the body is like a resonating chamber. <laughs> I don't want to be in this guy's path. Not sure where he's going. But we'll stay over here. Oh, it seems like he's staying over there. Oh, this thing does that a lot. It's pretty awesome. See how it takes this jump. Awesome. Oh, this setting is a sweet little car, man. And it's easier on the drivetrain with the small tires. Ooh. See what I mean? Does those little front flips quite a bit. Oh, we got someone else out here now. Oh my God, did you see that? Please tell me I got that on film. That was a sideways twist. I have never, ever landed a jump like that. That was crazy. Please tell me I got that. That was awesome. That's what I mean, like these 10 scale cars, it seems like you can just go balls out a little bit um, more than the bigger cars. A little bit harder, you know, and you know, they just don't take as much damage from a hit. Right between my legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that, that little servo though, it's not real strong. I think it's like 25 kilograms, but I don't think that's accurate. And if it is, it, it may be at a higher voltage than what I'm able to achieve here.
This thing's a track monster. I'm built for it. This thing hasn't made me go get it in a while. In a while. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, it's done it a couple times where it just cuts out on me for a second. After after a fall like that, after a hit. Ooh. That was foolish of me. Um, this little motor is something else though. It can deliver. And it's probably going to get plenty warm under these conditions. Plus that, that uh, fan that I have on there, durable as it is, it is only made of plastic. So there's no heat sink on that motor. Just a fan with a plastic housing. Um, but Again, I think that's sufficient. Ooh. Uh oh, maybe I'm wrong. I bet that motor is blazing hot though. <laughs> Let me feel it. It's <laughs> it's warm, but my finger was on it for a couple seconds. Um, it's not too hot, but you know maybe. Ooh, maybe in the long run, I'll put one of those Arma heat sinks on there. I like those a lot. The fins that come off of them are awesome. They hug the motor really well, super tight, and they're a great place to mount a fan too. So I love those 3660 heat sinks of Armas, yeah. Yeah, their electronics are good. Nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, especially in these 10th scale cars. Um, usually I can get out of that, but see the servo's kind of weak. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, I'm at the point now where my my phone on my remote control is starting to get to my wrist. It's that time of the day where the bugs are starting to get a little nuts. Ah, but I'm super impressed by this Surpass Hobby motor in here. It's smaller in uh, length than the stock Arma motors in these. Um, so but I know that I should probably give it a break because I don't want it to fail. I don't want it to seize up on me. I'm not sure what that would take. I don't think you should be able to do that in one battery pack. It is a 2 to 3 S rated motor, and this is kind of the smallest application for it. But I can guarantee you that thing is blazing. Oh, I thought I could make it up there. So just want to, so you know, I had a hole in one of these tires, and I used this um, black glue, uh, tire glue, super strong, and then on top of that, I used this Harbor Freight brand, or you know, they carry it, um, uh, electronics 
glue. And uh, I can't even tell which tire it is right now. Ooh, I probably should, I, I can tell that those dips need some oil. Uh, but yeah, you can't even tell which one it is. That's how good it, it does the job of covering it up a hole. Plus it, it stood up to the test of time too. I run this a few times with that patch tire and uh, it's still holding tight. So um, I'm going to type into the description what that glue is that I use. Um, in case you ever, you know, you have tires that might be brand new and you have a hole in it and it's way too early to throw that thing out. But this stuff will get you, you know, with your tire like it's brand new again. What I did was I patched the hole. You clean it out real good, dry it. Patch the hole um, with the glue. <clears throat> let that dry. And then over a kind of a a wide area around the hole, around the tear, I dabbed that electronics um, liquid rubber. And that stuff is really strong, actually. It adheres to a clean surface really well. And I use it for a lot. And the most recent application is on the tires, and it, <laughs> it holds up. Yeah, I love Surpass Hobby motors. I'm not a big fan of their ESCs, but I will use their motors. Um, I've never had an issue with one of their motors. That wasn't my fault. I uh, let one of the bearings seize up from using it in water. <coughs> Entirely my fault. And uh, when I was trying to fix it, replace the bearing, I did a really bad job getting the bearing back in there, and so the the shaft turns a little harder than it should, and eventually I'll run that motor, but I haven't yet. Yeah, that little motor in here is pretty sweet. I'm going to give it one run up through here, if I can get it out of the battery. Pretty nice speed. That's like having a tarmac to come down on. I am not upset with that motor at all. <laughs> Tiny little thing, but it, you know, it's perfect for this car. You want to keep this car as light as possible. And all of them, all of these, don't start putting a bunch of metal in your 10 scale cars. It's a big mistake. Uh, unless it's going to somehow make it lighter. But, you know, I think the RPM plastic arms, if you want to toughen up your car, get those. They're tougher and lighter than stock. So, yeah, if you're going to start replacing stock parts, make sure that it's going to be better. You know, um, metal doesn't mean better. And a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know what I'm trying to say, a lot of cases, metal is not better. Alright guys, like and subscribe if you found value or entertainment at all in this video. See you guys. Bye.